what's going on guys this is black box here with another video and today we'll be doing farm from at the box which is another beginner level box under the tier zero and now for this box how we're going to be doing is connecting to the machines ftp server then use log default login credentials to gain access and download a file from that server which contains our root flag and to start we need to first connect to the machine which i'll be doing right now cdvpn slash ftb and like for my previous video this is an example of a relative part again so i just click enter os and i'm connected because it says initialization sequence completed if i reload the page it should become green get this large okay and now we need to spawn the machine so we could get the ip for that specific machine okay so we just got the ip and i just click on it to copy it and now the first question says what does the three letter acronym ftp stands for now this stands for file transfer protocol and one thing to know is that FTP isn't encrypted, that is, the data traveling through the network, the files traveling through the network are always in plain test. So if an attacker is on the network, you could see the data going across the network in plain test and not encrypted format. So that's going to be file transfer protocol. Okay. And this is used mainly to send files from one um, system to another. And for the second question, it says, what port does the FTP service listen on usually? And that's going to be port 21. Sorry. Port 21. Okay. And it says, what acronym is used for the secure version of FTP? Now, like I said before, FTP sends data in plain text, and the secured version is going to be SFTP. FTP. Now, what SFTP stands for is Secure File Transfer Protocol, and this protocol runs over the SSH protocol to make sure data sent via network is encrypted, as well as asks for user ID and password. And SSH stands for Secure Shell, which is used over Telnet, since it's more secure than Telnet and the reason being that it sends data in encrypted format and it also allows remote login into a system which is a client to server structure that is the client asks for the server's acknowledgement before they can get access into the system and now it says what is the command we use to send an ICMP echo request and that's gonna be ping Okay, so let's ping the machine. So I'm gonna be ping. Let me make this much large. Ping and then IP. Enter. Okay, so we can see that what's in the, everything is looking good. Six packets transmitted and six received, and we don't have any losses, so that's good. Okay. it says from your scan what version is ftp running on the target now what they mean by from your scan is our nmap scan so i'm just going to clear this out and use an nmap scan and like i said before this means um enable os detection this means fabulous output scan or nmap scan all port and only return open ports that they found on the network and we insert our ip into now we already see port 21 from the scan and that's going to be the ftp port okay so the question was 
from your scan what version is FTP running on the target and so else so nmap makes it easier for us by sorting making the scan return in the form of a table and from versions we see VSF TPD 3.0.3.0.3 and what VSF TPD stands for is a FTP server for Unix systems such as Linux and Ubuntu things like that and version this version 3.0.3 .3 is an old version with a new version that was released August 2021 which is version 3.0.5 and as a best cyber security practice is best to keep all software and hardware updated so we're going to copy this and put it into the page it looks like we're good and it says from your scan what os type is running on the target so if we look back at our nmap scan it should show us the os type since we put dash a in the in the argument for nmap so um oh here we go and it says service info os and os stands for operating system and we see unix in the value so if i click in unix that should be correct okay good and now it says what is the command we need to run in order to display the ftp client help menu and now that we can see dash h which means help from the int so let me open another tab here ftp dash h now this shows us um commands that we could use argument and another, another word for ftp dash h is ftp dash dash help is the same command but just the shorter form and we could also use man ftp which shows us a manual for ftp and to get out of this um current process we just click on q and we get out of it now what man is is it was used in the old versions of linux as also known as manual and the new um utilities in linux new programs use mostly dash h with some using man also so that should be ftp dash h since it worked over here ftp dash h public answer okay and now it says what is username that is used over ftp when you want to log in without having an account and from our nmap scan it showed us that we have an anonymous ftp login allowed which isn't disabled on the system now the reason is that we also um anonymous login don't require pa um, password on ftp servers and also there's a way to disable them from authentication tabs on ftp server that we use in different companies or different part of our servers and ftp anonymous login always comes enabled in every ftp servers so let us try gaining access with this um, first, what was the question again so that's gonna be email of nyfos okay so now let's try logging in let me clear the page ftp and the ip address to get oh sorry let me grab the ip again So to log in, just click FT. We just type in FTP and then add the IP address into it, and click Enter. And we just click. And when it asks for the name, at least the username to log in into the system, we just write A N O N Y M O U S anonymous. Click Enter. And now we ask for password. Now some users might use anonymous as their username on the system, and that might correlate with what we have right now, but for this box for this box we just click on enter since they didn't assign any password to this anonymous login 
okay so we're in the system of quick errors it shows it lists a directory if we click on google and i i'm not sure what this is gonna bring out so yeah it's um so we're in like the root directory of the system So it says what is the response code we get for the FTP message login successful? Okay, so let us go back to our FTP login. And now the response code is gonna be 230 login successful. Now what this 230 response code is is the server's response of granting a user access to the successful logged in FTP server. So it means that we have been we are able to successful login into the FTP server, so that's gonna be two thirty. Now it says there are a couple of commands we can use to list the files and directories available on the FTP server. One is there, meaning directory listing, and what is the order? That is a common way to list files on the Linux systems. So if I go back to the FTP login. If I click the, it's gonna list my um the files in my current directory, and that means directory listing. The same thing as ls, yeah, the same thing. And ls also means list directory. So if we click ls, that should be the answer. Okay. And now it says, what is the command used to download the file we found on the FTP server? Now the command that we use to download files on FTP servers is going to be the get command which allows us to download files from remote servers into our own local systems. So if I click get and the flag.txt which is what the result from our list directory flag.txt enter and it says transfer complete that is transfer from the ftp server onto our own system and if we click log out oh sorry exit okay if you click exit it makes us able to get out of the system that is log out of the system and if i click ls i should have the flag on my own personal system and here it is question it says what is the command used to get the to download the file that will be the get command and it says submit root flag so if we use the cat command to read what is inside this flag.txt we should have our root flag cat flag.txt hey now let's copy this i know it works Okay, and that's all. Thank you guys for watching, and that's a successful pawn for fun. And have a nice day. Bye.